Hi, welcome to another video. I am so much Black and I will share with you my experience of the Aoku key systems. I was interested in Aoku's key systems since I continuously have to carry three key pairs of keys uh, with me around and since I only want to run around with my work keys at work and don't want to use the rest of the key systems, I got around to use S-Binars, S-Binar Carabiners on my keys and therefore like to hook them up onto key systems and carabiners and to store them permanently or temporarily away in some D-rings or similar things. I talked with Daniel from Aoku and he was gratefully enough to send me his key systems uh, which I wanted to review. Aoku had two different systems available. The first one, the main key holding mechanism is just a key ring in which I can for example put my keys, screw my key rings into or hook carabiners into. The connecting part is one row of Texas webbing, soon on to nylon webbing. And on the other hand, I have a loop which contains a military grade carabiner, the plastic ones. This system is interesting since I can hook the S binders or carabiners into it. So it resembles the kind of use I liked to use my keys with the most. Also I can highly customize it with different patches. For example the Aoku patches I can put onto them. And I also can switch out the carabiners I use. This one is great for just hooking it into your belt loops or into your D-rings on the trousers or belts or whatever. Hooking different keys into the key rings and then dropping it into your pocket. The only problem I see with this one is that the patches of course can wear out so this is the patch I continuously used with this this is the Aoku hex patch which by the way say said Aoku in, it, uh, in its ASCII code and since I continuously used it here on a hard wearing surface some of the letters faded away so be aware of which patches you use of course you do not have to use patches on this, you can use this without a patch or you can even just undo this patch holder and use the key system without patch holding systems and use the patch holder on other surfaces as well. I really like on this keychain that you can change out the different carabiners. For example, I want to get some tan carabiners in stock since I have uh, Vibram five finger shoes with tan soles and black uppers. Then I can have a splash of color on my feet and then a spl splash of the same color on my accessories. So I can have a little bit of color balance. The second system is quite a different one. It consists of a long nylon strap uh, sewn into a loop on one side of it there's also a patch holding system with Texas webbing like on the first one. I have a thin loop of nylon webbing and some sort of hook on the other hand side. Using the second one was a bit harder for me. I first tried to slot the bigger loop through my belt 
and then hang this one down my side. But then the whole length of this one is too long for me and my pockets. So with keys on this, it is rather long. And the flimsy nylon webbing flopped around at my side and then hindered me in my movements and wasn't so comfortable. After a while and through looking at the product photos Aoku delivers on his website, uh, I realized that I could slot this smaller loop through my belt and then hang the keys this way around on this hard surface. It is firm enough to hang the keys comfortably through, uh, to my pocket. I then tried to use this, but this way I always have to have a thick key ring on all of my keys, since as soon as I stop to use this big one, and I like to use a smaller one, of course it works with the nest binder. But the smaller the keys get, the more uncomfortable it gets. The other reason why I don't like this one over this one is that this hook, you can first, if you try to operate it one-handed, you can get your finger in here and that hurts. And on the other hand, although I didn't use this one extensively, it already wobbles around a bit. This goes as far as blocking the use, the one-handed use entirely. And then you have to undo it. And it seems that this one, this one bit here is getting bent outwards on both sides. So while this is made in the USA, it could be that this is just the problem of my one piece. On the other hand side, this could be a problem of all these carabiner hooks. And since this is the first time I used one of these, I can't comment on the quality of the other items. But to me, this is a bit a hassle working with this. So how could we improve this? In my opinion, this part here, the longer nylon webbing part, could be a bit shorter. This way I could choose between using the thin part or the thicker part for hanging onto my belt and it would be a bit more versatile and on the other hand as I already said this could be a problem of my one piece but if the kind of usage is always this one I would suggest searching for plastic bits that are a bit more lightweight so this one hangs not as heavy in your pockets and maybe search for some sturdier ones this one this key thing is already 45 euros that's relatively expensive i am willing to spend this much money but if this one doesn't work properly then it's not worth the money as soon as this one works properly and is reliable, then it's of course worth the money since it will be long wearing. The nylon is relatively sturdy and nylon webbing itself is almost always long wearing and as soon as the metal buckle doesn't bend and doesn't get broken or anything, it's of course worth the expense. Finally, I got three more things from Aoku. This is the pack with the wristband, the patch placement 
and the dog tag. The patch hook is the same thing as on the key systems. It's just a Velcro strap stra uh, soon on to nylon webbing and two of these plastic hooks on either side. And this way you are able to place patches onto it. And with these hooks you can always try to attach this to your backpack, to your molly webbing and to all other kinds of things. Daniel also sent me the dog tag. This is also customizable. It's a black dog tag chain with the aforementioned velcro loop system on the end. So I'm able to place a patch onto it and then hang it around my neck. Lengthwise it's at least going down to my navel. So it's not too short, it's not too long. You can comfortably put it onto your neck and then under a t-shirt, as long as the t-shirt is not too thin. The last thing I got from Daniel is this wristband system. This is also a mix of nylon webbing, velcro, some of the slotted loops and elasticated webbing and it's sewn in a way that you can put it on your wrist and then again place some velcro on it. This is how it looks on my small wrists. I think it's okay. I at first didn't know, know how to put it on. I disassembled it without knowing how to use it and then didn't know how to use it and how to place it on my wrist. So I at first had a little bit of problems putting it on and putting it back together. And the pictures of this one were not quite as self-explanatory as at the second keychain and key hook that I explained earlier. Nevertheless, this one is pretty interesting since I am able to swap out the patches and I really like this aspect. I can use patches others than Aoko's patches and I can also try to use my own patches. So this one will get a lot of use every now and then. I do not wear it every day, but it's getting used more and more. The only thing I miss are some more hard wearing patches, maybe even some PVC patches from Aoku to put on the various patch hooks. Since I, as I explained earlier, some of the patches can be torn apart and the letters are missing. In general, the Aoku designs are well done and thought out. A little bit of more explanation in some parts would be helpful. For example, how to get this wristband onto my wrist or how to use this keychain. A little bit more of explanation. For example, a video would have been nice, but in general, all the designs have their purpose and not every design has to be usable by everyone. That's all for now. If you happen to like this video and you want to see more of this, consider subscribing. You can do this here. And if you want to see more of my stuff, then you can click here or here to see more of my videos. Also take a look on the other Techware channels. They do great content as well. See you next time.